Hello guys, welcome to Techie Just Breathe. Uh, in this video, you are going to learn about how to set your uh, default router as a FTP server. So for this, we are using our D-Link 2750 model, and I'm going to describe. I'm going to show you how you can set your router as a FTP server to transfer files, your local files, or your anything, your videos, photos, etc. So right now as you can see that we are on a broadband connection we have a DSL line uh, plugged in and this is uh, below that you are seeing that uh, this one this one is the power cable which is attached to our router so so the first thing that you need to do is plug your USB drive to the USB port of your router because uh, I am. I don't know any other router should have a USB port or not. But uh, in my case, that is uh, dealing 2750. There is a USB port predefined. So as you can see, that we have attached our uh, USB pen drive, which is SanDisk, to our uh, USB port of the router. And uh, now we are going to see in our PC that how to how do we need to configure our router. So let's get there. So guys, we are now setting up our router and uh, you are going to see how we can configure our router. So for that, open your Google Chrome or any other browser which you prefer and open 192.168.1.8. That is the default IP address of your router. In my case, it is 192.168.1.1. You can see in your router, uh, the back side of your router or in a configuration or a booklet that you get. So after entering this this is the screen if you doesn't have set your password then log in with router router admin admin and uh, in my case i had set and password for that so this is the default page you need to go to advanced and here's the option of samba s a m b a click on that so what we have done it we have to go to advanced and then samba and uh, first of all you need to enable samba and after that uh, this name is the name of your ftp server in my case we have dsl underscore router or route and uh, you can also set your password for the ftp server but you need to uh, dis disable this option enable anonymous access because if you uh, enable it then anyone can uh, operate that ftp server in my case i had enabled it so there is no use of this password okay i hope you understand it and uh, you can see these settings you have to enable samba you have to enable uh, usb storage and you have to enable anonymous access so if these three options are enabled then you can easily and after that you need to click on apply so after doing these steps you can uh, you have to go to your my computer and uh, enter the address now clearly see that 192.168.1.1 and click that so this is your usb storage if we open it uh, this is the death star movies android loss.dr these are all the folders in my usb drive so you can clearly see that how it is easy to watch like if i double click on these movies uh, these all are, are the movies in my uh, usb pen drive you can also watch these uh, videos right from pen drive or you can copy one of these uh, to your local storage that is in your desktop so i hope this tutorial will help you help you uh, make your own router as a ftp server so this is the techie just breathe signing off and uh, please subscribe my channel if you find this video helpful and especially if you are uh, new to technology you can watch all my videos related to technology in this channel and uh, i hope you like this video thanks for watching this please support the channel subscribe hit like and share to others to your various users thanks for watching this video have a nice day